Welcome to Revelation Unravel. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the co-prophet of these end of times. Well, this morning I was surfing the internet and I came across an amazing headline. It seems that our Pope, supposed Pope, who I believe is the false prophet, Pope Francis, is going to celebrate the Protestant Reformation. And this is the article which I saw, and maybe you can read the headline there. And this is from the Religion News Service. And it says, Pope will visit Sweden for Reformation anniversary. No, this is not from the Daily Onion. This is a legitimate RNS News Service. And I checked it with the Vatican Radio. This is legit, even though you won't believe it. And here's what it says. Pope Francis will visit Sweden, one of the world's least religious countries. I don't know about that. That is the editorial opinion of this author here, Rosie Scamell. Anyway, she continues. A joint celebration in October between Lutherans and Catholics to launch commemorations of the 500th anniversary of the Protestant Reformation. Talk about a one world religion. And of course, the false prophet is prophesied in scripture to establish a one world religion. And as I have said many times on this program, the one world religion will be Protestant in nature, even though it will be headquartered in the Vatican. And I wanna show you where both of these individuals, Martin Luther and Pope Francis, are found in Bible prophecy. First, let's look at Martin Luther. And I'm gonna, I've written this out on a large paper so I can read it rather than read my Bible. This is Revelation chapter nine, verse number one. And the fifth angel sounded the trumpet, and I saw a star fall from heaven to the earth and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. Now, a star means a famous person. The heaven which he falls from refers to the clergy. Martin Luther was a Roman Catholic priest and he disavowed his vows. And the bottomless pit, of course, refers to hell. Let's look at Revelation chapter nine, verse number three. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. Now the smoke symbolizes heresy. The locusts represent demons. And now verse number five. And to them it was given that they should not kill mankind, but that they should be tormented for five months. The five months of this locust plague symbolizes five centuries. Martin posted his famous 95 Theses on Halloween of 1517. Those 500 years will be up in the fall of 2017, which as I have been saying all the time on this program, will be when Jesus returns at the Battle of Armageddon. And now let's see where Pope Francis is found in the book of Revelation, chapter 8, verse number 10. And the third angel sounded the trumpet. Now these angels are not in sequence. In other words, the third angel follows the fifth angel. But if you know how I have interpreted the book of Revelation, according to St. John's cryptogram, it is not necessarily in chronological order. And the third angel sounded the trumpet and a great star again a famous person fell from heaven again from the ranks of the clergy burning as it were a torch and it fell on the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters now in this case i believe the rivers refers to all christians and the fountains would be like the clergy or the bishops the leaders in christianity and verse number 11 and the name of the star is called Wormwood. Wormwood, by the way, is not referring to Chernobyl. 
there no star fell at Chernobyl. Wormwood refers to the false prophet who is Pope Francis. At least he is if he continues to carry out this ecumenical movement by associating and celebrating the Protestant Reformation. And the third part of the waters became wormwood, and many men died of the waters, that is, they die a spiritual death, because they were made bitter. So, and I am not picking on Protestants by pointing out what Bible prophecy says about both Luther and Pope Francis. Three of my four grandparents were Protestant. In fact, I believe both my grandparents were Masons. By the grace of God, there go I. And we as Catholics, we need to pray for the one-third of Catholics who are going to follow after the false prophet. We need, to have, we need to pray for Protestants. As I have said, a remnant of Protestants will actually be raptured. And the reason they are granted that grace is because they are living lives of sanctity despite not having the sacraments of the Roman Catholic Church. And as I say, it is a really sad day when one fallen star in the book of Revelation celebrates the fall of another star. And if you would like more information about my ministry, visit my thirdeaglemedia.com website.